Hello YouTubers, uh, Charles Road here, and uh, thank you for watching today's tutorial. We're going to go over basic motion tracking. So I created two motion tracking little videos. They're only two seconds each, uh, just to kind of show you uh, how to track a text uh, on a clip. Now I took these clips with my iPhone, so you can see they're very, very fidgety. Uh, they move around a lot, and it was I actually wanted that so that I could show you how easy it is to motion track in After Effects. Uh, here's the other one I did. Uh, it's a uh, doobly doop. Uh, you can see it's just tracked to be underneath of uh, the window. This is at my house as well. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and choose which one we want. Do you want to do uh, frivolous or do you want to do doobly do? You want to do doobly do, huh? Well, half of you probably said frivolous, but we're going to go ahead and work on doobly do, but it's the same concept. So let's go ahead and create a new comp and uh, we'll title it tutorial. And uh, I have uh, the width at 800 by 450 square pixels and 29 frames per second. And I left the duration at 2 seconds. All right, okay. And let's go ahead and slide in our video window. All right. So I've already color corrected the video just so it could look a little better. Um, you know, the iPhone is good, but sometimes, uh, you know, the, the light can bounce off into the eye of the iPhone and it can get a little nasty looking. Um, sometimes it works out for the best, but nevertheless, uh, we're our, you know, on our next step of creating um, our motion tracking and we're going to type in doobly doo and have it motion track right underneath of the windowsill. So uh, first thing we need to do is um, after we bring in the window uh, footage, we need to create a null object and open our motion tracking window. So first, uh, in order to get to the, the, the null object, go to layer, click on new, and uh, select null object. Now what a null object is, um, it's, it's, it's an invisible um, item that you use to track any one point um, throughout a, a video, um, or some kind of motion uh, graphic that you have. Um, and how you do that uh, is by going up to Window. You want to select Motion uh, Tracker. Where is it? Right here. Tracker. Select that, and it pops up right here to the right of your window. Um, and now, in order to track your footage, um, you'd have to select the, the video file itself, and um, go up here to Tracker, and select Track Motion. Okay, now you see in the middle of your video, you have this little track point. Um, if you move around, you see it kind of like magnifies, so you can kind of see what areas you're uh, attempting to track. So what we need to do is find the first point that we want to track and move it over there. I want to track right here. Uh, but I want to extend out the region so that it doesn't accidentally um, move out of this space and start tracking like somewhere down here or somewhere in the window. You want to give it enough region uh, that it accepts and understands what area you want it to track. Okay, so pretty much this middle box is saying this is the good area and this outside box is saying this is the bad area. It doesn't want to go out that area, pretty much. But uh, usually you're pretty good at tracking. Um, it's really not that hard. Um, but next thing you want to worry about is tracking the rotation because the the frame or the video it's wobbly it doesn't stay put so we need to select not only position but rotation this is going to give us a second track point by doing this we're going to move it all the way over to the right side of the window and obviously we're going to make the box bigger again so make that about that big and make this one about that big all right now make sure you're at the beginning of the video and then go up here to analyze uh, and what this is going to do is when you press play it's going to go frame by frame by frame and actually track those two points for you so we're going to go ahead and click play and let it run its course you see it's working pretty well it's actually not moving around that much and it's done then you go ahead and apply this to the null object when you create a null object um, it usually saves that as a, the primary target so you don't normally have to change that um, in the event that you do want to change that you go to edit target uh, and make sure you select um, the null object that you want to apply these um, trackers to so press ok and press apply and then you're going to, want to apply the x and the y um, not x only or y only just both Okay. All right, we'll go ahead and minimize this. Okay, so now everything's tracked. If we go back to the beginning, you'll see the null object. It's only on this side, but it's going to be tracking the rotation from this side. And you'll see it kind of like move around. See, it doesn't really move around too much. Okay, so let's go ahead and move back. And now what we need to do is we need to create the text. So 
let's go ahead and type in um, Roger Dodger. Dodger. All right, select that and bring it over here. We're going to make it about, well, let's uh, pick a different text. Uh, we're going to pick Hobo. That's the one that I use for uh, doobly doo. Okay, we're going to make it a lot bigger now. Make it roughly about 70 pixels. Okay. Bring it over here. And uh, we're almost done, actually. Now we just need to link the tracker and the text together, and we're finished. Well, just about. There's one more step afterwards. Um, you see this icon right here. It's called the, um, the Pickwick. Uh, it's also known as a parent tool. Um, this tool allows you to pretty much copy another layer settings onto the current layer that you're trying to copy it to. As in, um, if you have something um, moving in a certain position and you want to um, copy those uh, keyframes onto this uh, layer, you just want to pick with this to the position. Um, or you can uh, you know, pick with to the rotation. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do uh, to the layer itself just by clicking and dragging this line over and you see the layer gets highlighted you go right to the layer and then it'll move and follow you know based on you know the layer um, or if you want to get a little more technical a little more advanced go ahead and press P open up the position and go to the layer that you want to um, you know obviously we're gonna do the text layer uh, press P as well Hold down the Alt or Option key, depending if you're a Mac user, you want to you know, hold down Option. If you're um, a PC user, I believe the, the button is Alt. You want to hold down the Alt key and click the stopwatch. Now you see everything goes black and there's a red bar under the bottom with a warning sign. That's okay. You need that. Go down here to this Pickwick tool. Select, hold, and drag over the position. And now what you're doing is you're going to be copying the position of this layer onto this layer by pressing enter, or actually delete, uh, go back, I actually added a, a, a level to this um, this expression that it automatically creates for you. Um, all you got to do is just click out of it and it automatically will uh, track the, the, the anchor point to the null object's anchor point. Um, then we want to press R for rotation and do the same thing. Remember, press Option or Alt, grab and select the Pickwick tool, and bring it over top of the null object, and then select out of it. Oh, After Effects warning, object of type layer found num where a number, array, or property is needed, expression disabled. Okay, um, we did something bad there. So let's try that one more time. There we go. Okay. I don't know what happened there. I must have actually pressed a button in the middle of it, but it's the same procedure. You just um, Alt select the Pickwick tool and drag it over top of the rotation, and it'll copy the settings of uh, this null object. So go ahead and minimize that, minimize that, uh, turn this off, and let's watch it move. All right, so you see it moving. Now, remember, I told you there's one more step to do. Um, and the only reason why I say there's one more step to do is because we want Roger Dodger to be underneath of the windowsill and not on top of the windowsill. So we're going to click on Roger Dodger, press the letter A, and we're going to drop down the anchor point. Then we're going to go to the Y coordinates, and we're just going to move to the left until it drops down underneath of the windowsill. And then we're going to move it over to the right a little bit, just to make sure it lines up and looks all of you know, nice and fancy and whatnot, and go back to the beginning. Bada bing, bada boom. It's playing. You can do whatever kind of effects you want, whether uh, you, if you've watched Through Their Eyes, uh, it was a, a zombie series that I had edited for Blue Monkey Entertainment. Uh, it's my studio channel. Uh, I had to do a lot of motion tracking on that for, you know, blood splatter, uh, muzzle flashes, uh, anything you want to do, all you have to do is create the null object motion track your subject um, and then just add the effect and parent it to the null object it's as simple as that uh, and just one thing to remember whenever you um, track on a null object and parent something um, if you parent the the item to the null object itself by clicking this and going here um, it's going to track and follow the null object at the the current position of um, the item 
So let's say Roger Dodger was, you know, uh, for instance, let's go ahead and type in something real quick. Um, uh, do blue. Okay, we're going to type in do blue. If I put it up here and I parent it to the null object, it's going to track and move up here. Although the tracking point is down here, it's going to move up here. But if you want the item to move um, exactly the way this tracker moves, then you want to copy the properties of the null object onto the layer. Uh, and I'll show you how it looks in just a moment. See, it's still tracking, still moving, but it's not tracked at the actual point of the tracker. So that's my tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me at contact at charlesroad.com uh, or send me a message in my inbox or drop a comment below. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys got to say, and I thank you for watching today's tutorial, and have a wonderful day.